Hey y'all, we are halfway through Vlogmas. It is Vlogmas Day 7. If you watched yesterday, then yes, I'm wearing the same thing as yesterday because it's the same day uh, that we're filming this. Uh, yesterday's video already got pretty long, the um, run errands with us. Thank you, Morty. Um, so I thought I would just make this a separate video where I am finally going to move my Alex 5 drawer back in here. I used to have two in here. Like, I don't, have y'all been around that long? Have you been here since then? Um, but I'm only going to bring one in. It's in my closet currently and it's just not very well utilized in there. And I think it would be fun to bring it back in here and organize it. Um, this video is primarily going to be us bringing it in here. <laughs> the timer went off for the oven. Okay, anyways, this video is primarily going to be moving it in here, cleaning up a little bit, and we're only going to put in the face products that we have already like decluttered. We did that a few videos back. So we're going to move that in and then also my hot tools into it and that will be it then as we declutter and go through different parts of my collection then we will move it into the alex 5 and the whole point of this is just to have fun with makeup if you're a makeup collector like i am sometimes it's fun to just reorganize it differently and get re-inspired and get re-excited to use the makeup already owned instead of uh, going out into buying. I think a lot of times we buy new makeup because we are bored with what we have and we're not very inspired. So we buy that in hopes of getting those feelings back. But I've learned if you just organize your makeup differently and spend time like looking at products, then um, you can, I don't know, slow down those buying habits, which I mean, if you buy, you buy, it doesn't matter. But if you're looking to slow down your buying habits, it's a nice, nice way to go about it. So we are going to um, move the stuff out from over here because that's where it's going to go. And we'll just we'll go from there. Okay, Morty's here to help. So it's going to go here. So I'm just going to move this stuff out, vacuum and mop. And then we'll go get the Alex 5 afterward. Just in case you might be new here, this is what my makeup collection currently is on the shelf. I'm going to leave the shelf in here and I'll probably end up leaving my palettes on the shelf as well and I don't know like I said I'm having fun there's no game plan or roadmap or anything we'll just kind of see where things go but this is my current setup for organizing my makeup This is where the work truly begins. I'm going to have to lift the treadmill here. Okay, not too bad. I was using the Alex 9 right there, 5, Alex 5, sorry, to store PJs, but because the drawers are pretty um, narrow, or not narrow, they're not very deep, it's just hard it's not a great system I have another one over here that has uh, like socks underwear um, bras and it works perfect for that it's just not great for anything more than that in terms of clothes Okay, 
right, so let me just take everything out. There's actually a lot in here. I'm gonna take it all out, throw it on the bed. I have bins, like big bins, that I'm gonna store in there before. That's kinda how I had it before I switched these out. I think that's a better process or system for me. I love PJs. I go through them often to see if there's any I want to declutter, but I love sets of PJs, so probably keeping all of it. Jared made me this a while ago. It says, I love you the way I love your eyeshadow. I love you the way I love your eyeshadow palettes. I don't know, it's just really cute. Right, now this has to be moved to the other room. There is... Uh, Jared? Uh. Have I ever told you how love, uh, how strong you are and how much I love you? What? Have I expressed that to you lately? Uh. Have I expressed it to you lately? No. I just think you're just so strong. what you need well I just thought maybe you could use your strong muscles to move something for me <laughs> hey do you remember making this for me you love my eyeshadow palette I love you the way I love your eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't finish it? <laughs> That's what you gave me. <laughs> he said he don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> it's pretty though. Will you move this into my beauty room for me? Guys, he's looking at me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, it's not one piece. It is, but it might not be like sturdy as one. <gasps> Watch out, you did it, y'all. remember my depth perception isn't great so let's see if this fits or no oh my gosh we're like half an inch off really it's not super cute and that's maybe something we could work on over time but functionally I love it all right so I am not going to organize with you guys putting my PJs away but I will show you this I have these like fabric bins I think I got them from like TJ Maxx 
few years ago, but they're like massive. They're bigger than the average size. So I'll just sit those in there probably on the floor. Um, and then, you know, throw my PJs and then it'll be easier to kind of sort through and rummage through them to find what I want in that whatever particular moment it is. So that will go into there. But let's let's organize all the uh, face products that we decluttered and sorted through a few days ago of Vlogmas. So, Ooh, all right, so I'm going to use the third drawer here at least that will be the plan for today and then i also have actually one of my most popular videos on my channel is me organizing my alex 5 with these containers from uh, walmart they are just so easy to use in here and they fit perfectly like, i don't know where my long ones are but the long ones and the medium sized ones fit perfect but i think i want to do three like this I have another one over here. Okay, that one needs to be washed out. It had the empties in it. Yeah, I think I want to do it like that. And then I have these products here. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Okay, so here are concealers. We'll just what direction do I want? Well, the camera will probably always be where you are. And I feel pretty comfortable sitting here sorting through it. So it might be better if it just faces you this way. Also, if I was sitting at my desk, this would make the most sense. So we'll do concealers here. I'm going to do the foundations back here just so they can sit upright and not fall over. Well, it's two foundations and a primer. But I want them upright, which is why I chose this drawer it's the first deepest one is that oh wouldn't that be so satisfying if those fit there i think i need to wipe these out too well these can lay flat that's that's fine let me grab something to wipe these down okay i have the jaws disinspect disinfective spray wow all right we're gonna wipe everything out This feels like when I first started my uh, makeup baskets. Well, not at first, because my stuff was um, stored in a dresser, like a clothes dresser, the be very beginning. But then I got these sometime after that, not too far after that, because that's what everyone had. I feel like that's still what everyone has, honestly. It's this one down too. Actually, I think I'll put the sprays back here. Let's wipe this one down too. Alright, let's add powders loose and pressed. might like them kind of just tossed in there like that. Yeah, having them tossed is bringing me a level of joy that I can't explain right now. So maybe I'll end up sorting them the typical like line them up way. But right now I kind of like them like, just dig through it. Okay, that is going to be everything for this face drawer. What do we think? I kind of feel like... Okay, I like having the three in here. 
but it's like seems kind of silly to have just two setting sprays in this back one so maybe I'll take that out I don't know what I'm going to do back here. It seems like a little bit of wasted space, but I think for now we'll just leave it like that and see what happens. This could be actually, I could put some makeup bags back there. Makeup bags right here. I wonder if some of them would fit. Oh, this travel set from Amazon might be nice to throw back there and then I'll remember to see it along with like this is a for a sponge like a makeup sponge so it can breathe but you can travel with it it's pro it's from profusion i got it from walmart a while back yeah i think just those two make sense for now and i do want to go through I think those are the two that make sense for now. I do want to go through and declutter some of these at some point, but not today. <laughs> not today. Yeah, they fit. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. And then this can actually just sit right there. Ooh, I wonder if I have any backup sponges that I could put in here. Let me, let me look. We have a friend. He's trying to nap while we do this. Okay. All right. I have some of these Laura Mercier type sponges. Well, the, these are L'Oreal, Laura Mercier. I know people are kind of using these again, so I don't know. I'll just throw them in here and maybe I'll use them one day. And then another L'Oreal or, oh, that's number seven. There. Ooh, these other ones, I'm not really sure what brand they are. perfect yes okay so I'm not really just I haven't made a decision like maybe this one will be blushes bronzers highlights I'm not really sure I don't know what this one will be maybe brushes I wonder if I had my brushes just like all laid out in here I would like that I don't know but I do know what I want this last one to be which is going to be my hair to tool currently they're in this drawer and it's just a little chaotic in here to be honest with you Containers also from Walmart. Oh, 
honestly forgot about this mini straightener that came in, I think, a FabFitFun box. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to remember to use this. That's all that we're gonna do in this video. So I did empty out this drawer. And we'll just do an overview here. So this first drawer is still empty. This one's empty. This is where we added all of our face products, including sponges and some travel bags. This brings me immediate joy opening up. Just wanted to say that. This next one is empty. And then this is where we put all of that hair, straighteners, tools, whatever. Okay, that was an exciting day seven of Vlogmas, but that's going to be all that we filmed for this video. Thank you all so much for being here, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.